Game Zone. Yo! Ja, more right, Game Zone. Upland is coming to the Midlands. Oi, oi! Home of a great comedian, Lenny Henry. Home (laughs) of a great another comedian, Jasper Carrot. And now home to a great TV show, The Peaky Blinders. Hey, nasty done, dude. <laughs> Do you like that, Dove? <laughs> the little um, rummy coming I'd out. I'd love to me. give a shout out to this person, but there's definitely yes. no way I'm pronouncing that, so just hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, there'll be no exclamation mark play stuff today, though, I'm afraid. No. Um, Shall we no get some down. chilled music going on in the yeah, background? On. We're not playing a game that actually has sound today. No. Turn that down just a little bit. There we go. So yeah, what we're we doing today, brother? We're having a we're having a little yeah, we're look gonna at have an upland, a, aren't we? Yeah, an upland show. Yeah, I've just got random that. midweek stream. Yeah, random midweek because I was away, wasn't I? I was out at, uh, in LA. Went to see the uh, my pet hooligan studios. Went over there, MGI studios. Oh, Dub, I've got something for you actually. Ooh. I bought back a bit of merch for you. You got back and some got, merch. Yeah, yeah. I bought I bought you back like a baseball cap and a. Well, I've got a triple XL T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, my pet hooligan. And I've got oh, this dude. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to have to come and see you and, and come and give it Fuck, to you in man. person. What a boss. But, look at, but look at what I've got right up. And you are the man for this, let me tell you. <gasps> oh, is it going to... Yeah, I know oh. what it is, though. Is the hoodie yeah, yeah. ready to paint? Yeah, and I need you to paint it for me, Dub. Yeah, dude, you tell me what you want and I'll get it done. Yeah, you're the man for that, ain't you? Cool. Oh, I've righteous. Got, I've got... Yo, uh, how's it going, Jay? Jay Hulida? I've got a My Pet Hooligan pack of cards. Nice. Limited edition. I, I can't bring myself to open them, though, Doug. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, it's still got, got plastic seal on it and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's got plastic seal yeah. on them, right? Look. And it's got, like, I'll just really show you, let's see. It's hard to see because of green scene. And then they've all got, yeah, like, Yeah, it's all Hoolied. Yeah. But I nice can't speed. open it, though. You know what I mean? No, no, man. Stuff like that needs to be kept all under wraps, nice and <laughs> yeah. fresh and lovely. So I thought you're the man. You're the man to do my hoolies. Yeah, and I'm gonna that, give dude. you I'm gonna give you free range on it, I think, though. But I was gonna get you to just do my hoolie, you know the yeah. one I've got in the background. But I think I just want you to use your artistic, you know, you know what you're doing. Okay. You can, you'll you'll okay. you do this, you know. Well, we'll have to have a chat. I, I, I need to get some kind of ideas off you because I'm yeah. not good with blank canvas yet. But okay. you give me a little bit of an idea what you want, I can I can rock and roll with it. No okay. worries, man. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. I love a bit of painting, so we can do that. No worries, buddy. Yeah, LA was super cool, Dub. I bet, man. I bet. I can't imagine. Just been in that studio as well. Oh, Sick. I hope you can release your video soon. Oh, he just made a banging it. video on his little trip around the studio, and it's awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I'm, I'm just waiting for the guys uh, over there just to okay it because, you know, I just want them to, uh, in case there's something in there that they don't want in there or whatever. So, and plus I've included like uh, the Hair Racers theme tune, which is like one of theirs. I put that in the video. So I yep. just want them to give me the nod. That you That's a really cool tune. I like that. Yeah, it's wicked. Yeah, yeah. wicked. I'm just, I just want it out there now. Do you know what I mean? I want to put it in the Discord. I want to get it out on Twitter. But I've just got to wait for the nod from the boys at the uh, studio, you know? Now, you know what it's like, don't you? Yeah. We're all busy, busy, busy. I'm still having problems with my flipping garland I had to contact yeah. them again today and I was like, oh, what's going on? I, I stopped playing Spider Tanks again today. Oh, did you? There's been lots of updates. I thought I'd best, best get in there and have a little go and it, yeah. it's pretty freaking banging now, man. Yeah, we'll get Chair Bandit on. I've got a message yeah. in because I was supposed to do, I was supposed to uh, touch base with him actually at the start of the month, obviously with the trip to LA and the, everything else going on. Yeah, I went I went to see Harry nice, Mack in, Harry Mack in concert as well, Doug. Yeah, I got on stage with him as well. That was pretty yeah, cool. Did, didn't you? I'm wearing the old Look Odyssey t-shirt. Harry Mack on oh, tour. Fair one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know what a sees a BMX brand, so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get into it, Doug. You're the, yeah, dude. You're, you're coaching so, us today. Upland, the um, the property trading game. This is actually like one of the very first like web free games that mm. was a game really. 
like way back when I first got into this space, this is the first game I played, Upland. And Alien Worlds. I'm pretty sure they were like the only Web3 games. Um, so it's on EOS. Um, and it's, you know, if you've ever played Monopoly, it's kind of the same sort of thing. Um, you got all these areas. In fact, let's go to an area that's actually got properties we can look at. So it is now international, as you can see. We've got some down in Spain. All the um, initial cities are all in America. And then there's a couple in South America that they've launched now. But should we go to San Francisco quick? We'll go to like, yeah, this is the, the Genesis City, the first one I ever launched. Hmm. So you got lots of different neighborhoods. You can see they've all got names on them inside the neighborhoods. I've got properties. And the idea is you buy and sell properties to try and flip for, flip some money, make some UPEX. UPEX is, is the currency in here. Um, and as you see, we've got properties of lots of different colors. Yeah, um, you want to go through them all. Yeah, Buddha wanted me to go through a yeah. few of these. So, um, these light blue, not the brew. These light blue properties are properties that people own, ones that people have already bought and minted, and they're happy with and they're keeping them. These dark green ones, these are properties that people have bought and minted, and they're now selling. So, if you click on this one here, for example, you'll be able to see this person wants 185,000 upex for their property. So, if you bought it. They'd get money, you'd get the property, bosh. And then a bit like Monopoly, you've also got um, collections. So let me bring the collection job up. I shall have to change the city. Uh, and when you own the property, you get rent up, you get a residual income from rent from that property, don't you? You do, yeah. Oh, okay, don't be on. So it's a, it's a nice passive income owning any it's, property in. See, we've in got all place. these different colors. Bit like Monopoly, as the colours go up, the you know the price of the properties goes up, all the way up to these rares and ultra rares that are, are stonking. If you complete the collections, so like um, this one here and this one here, San Francisco, and you see I've got a property, three properties that match the criteria. Yeah. This one is own three properties in the Sunset neighbourhood. This is own three properties in San Francisco. And we've got the City Pro, own five properties in the same city, and it goes on. Yeah, and so when you've got enough properties to fill them all out, you get a little bonus. And you see, that I've got all these ones collected, so you can't see how much the bonus was. But you see on some of these, that one, 3,450 Upex. And as the rarity goes up, you can see the bonuses goes up as well. All the way up to some big, big, boomy bonuses. Nice. Which is pretty sick. Yeah. You've got some of these. You're definitely a, a good player. Yeah. So just by owning a property, you're going to get a PIX anyway. You're going to get yeah. a form of income. But if so you have when you owned... click on one, it should say, there we go, your monthly earnings from that property standalone. And then Ooh. if it's part of the collection, that's showing you the boosted earnings it would get. There you go. Right, brilliant. If it was in a, an appropriate collection. Yeah. Now, how easy is it for a, like, say, newbie to get into this game, Dub? To physically start playing it, yeah, what it's are they really gonna need? easy. What are they going to need? You can just go on their website, sign up, yeah. or there's an app on your phones, you know, both, both the formats of phones, both Android and iOS. There's an app, and you just sign up. It gives you a little bit of Upix to start with, and you yeah. can start playing. So it's completely free to play and free to earn. Right. Now, there is a bit of a steep learning curve, yeah. Um, and it's not going to be quick and easy to make a lot of money from the start, especially if you're not putting any more money in. Yeah. But it can be done. I know of several players that are mm. doing better than I am and they've never put a cent into the game. Whereas yeah. some people like me have put a little bit in and other people have put a lot in. Um, shall, shall I, give, I can give a bit of advice actually through my own experience in Upland, yeah? If you're looking to get into this game and you haven't got into this game, yeah? You've got two things that I, I recommend you should do. Either join their Discord and have a look at all of the tutorials they have in their Discord group. Yeah, that's that's one way you could... Like, the Discord's you know, really helpful and yeah, really or, active. Or another way is to try and get yourself a, a, an Upland buddy. Someone that's already... <laughs> in, well, yeah, because you're going to learn. Yeah. So, Because what it is, someone that knows about Upland can talk you through it quite easily and quite quickly because they've gone through that 
steep learning curve. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, they can cut out all the, you know, the they have a lot of information, don't they, in Upland for like different events that go on every kind month of, or every. But week. also not really. Like, yeah, yeah but there's events that go on, but yeah. um, how do I actually play and progress through the game? There isn't much on. No. Now in just recently they have actually put a tutorial in the game now so there okay. is a little bit of a tutorial and you can work yeah. through it and yeah. go through all the steps but most definitely the best yeah. course of option is jumping in the upland discord, discord jumping yeah, into like yeah. the newbies room yeah. and, and just start asking questions because people are there like waiting yeah. to help people all day every day yeah, and of course you can jump into the Game Zone Discord as well if you want. Yep, and most I'm sure myself or Derby, you know, if it's if it's some if it's a game that you're looking at that you'd like to get into, jump in, have a chat with us. We'll be more than happy we'll to point you in the right direction. Now, another, if you're thinking of signing up to play Upland, and a you want to like boost your earnings potential, and b you want to help us out a little bit, mm. um, I've got a little um, referral link. Hold on, where is it? Whack it in there, Derby. Just us. here. Now this is for one play which is Wombat's like, web free gaming platform. If you know Dungeon Master, these are the people that did Dungeon Master. So this is OnePlay just here. This is the website you'll go to. And Upland is a game that OnePlay supports. So what's cool is just by playing Upland, you can earn the OnePlay currency called OneBox. Okay, and you see I've earned 8,110,954 OneBox just from playing Upland because every time you play and you spend some Apex, um, here we go, you'll receive 25 one bucks for every 10 UPX you spend. Yeah. So 10 Apex is, is virtually nothing. Like every yeah, time you nothing. send to another property, yeah. you're going to be getting some one bucks. Every time you buy a property, yeah. anytime you pay for travel anywhere, yeah, you're yeah. going to be getting some one bucks on the good, side. You can, you can state your one bucks as well, can't you? You can state one bucks. And, and what's good is here, they have the cash out event. This happens every single week. There's this cash out event. You just click join now. And at the end of it, I mean, obviously this week here says there's only one day, 19 hours left. When it gets to the end, it will give you a cash out in EOS. And then obviously yeah. you, you do without whatever you want. You can cash your EOS out for wax or, or for dollars or something. Or if you play Dungeon Master, I highly advise you to use your one box to buy EOS NFTs because a lot of people that play Dungeon Master have got all 100 of their wax NFTs staked to Dungeon Master, but not a lot of people have any or many EOS right. ones. Yeah, Whereas this is a great any. way, but for no monetary input of any kind, yeah. Just by playing Upland, you can yeah. get some one bucks, buy some NFTs that you can then stake on Dungeon Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, freaking yeah. great. And obviously, yeah, nice please, if you're going to do it, use our referral code, and then that'll yeah. help us out a little bit as well. Yeah, but yeah, of course. regardless, if you do it through Upland, you, you're going to be just earning yourself extra extra crypto, like for, yeah. for not really doing anything, just playing it through these guys. Yeah. It, it's, it's banging. It's yeah, do really it, guys. Good. Do it. Now we're gonna we've got a we've got a live event happening, haven't we? In, in around 15 minutes, I think it starts. London's yes. opening up, and we've got two places in London that are gonna open up first. Is it finally? Har Har I've Har been Ruff. playing Upland for two and a <laughs> bit, maybe more years, and finally they're coming to the UK. Do you, like, what, do been you... to Spain and been to South America. Now they're coming to our, our ends. Yeah. Do you, do you want to give them a, a new visit? Just a quick idea of how how this works when a new city opens. Yeah. Oh, well, yep, we're going to do it. So let's go back to yeah. where we're going. So in case you didn't know, guys, this little chess piece I'll come down here. You click on that, and that takes you straight to your block explorer, which is like your character. I got my little Rasta turtle dude. I like it. Though. Um. And then these black lines, these go around all the neighborhoods and you see the neighborhoods are written. Now to get those black lines, you've got to click this button here. See if it's unchecked, it's just an empty city. You think what's going on here? And then you click that little button and here we go. These are all the neighborhoods. Now, these neighborhoods are all releasing tomorrow as part of the first wave of London release. Mm. But today for a stress test, they are opening are, yeah. up these two neighborhoods here, Queen's Park and Harrow Road. Okay. So the idea is they're two very small neighborhoods. Every player is going to be crammed into these two neighborhoods, trying to mint a couple of properties. And it puts a load of stress on their servers and it just checks that everything is going smoothly. Because if you're an experienced Upland player, you will know that a lot of city releases have not gone smoothly. But they are getting a lot better now. 
Mm. Um, they actually used to do the stress test on the same day. Oh. And it was quite often that the stress test didn't go very well and it would uh, crash and everything yeah. would go shit tits up. Um, and then they'd have to delay the city release, whereas now we're doing it on a different day. So it's really Which good. If there are out. problems, they can try and implement them before tomorrow. Um, yeah. So basically, everyone's just going to be going nuts here. Yeah. Um, now, unfortunately, the nearest train station is down here. So this is where you'll disembark when you're traveling to London. And you just got to hope that your block explorer floats all the way up here. Now, I'm stuck down here. I think you're you're around here somewhere as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm around area. by Big Ben and all that. So, there. I'm, we're basically going to have to wait there. until someone like this person here, who is flown in one of the target neighborhoods, mints a property after it goes oh. live. And then when they mint one, we can send ourselves to it and then yeah. hopefully buy one. But yeah. there's going to be a lot of people doing exactly the same thing. Um, so, yeah. I've got a couple of little tips for you here, Buddha, straight away. Go and on. obviously, anyone else that's watching. Go oh, on. we've got some more people in the chat. Yo, Go oh, on. more people, weird names. Um, <laughs> I can say yeah. something. He's Lucky Hay, Ghani, Stilek, um, Nizam, and then Abu Bakar, Bog. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yucky, hey. I think that's it. Yo, what's up, peeps? What's yeah, up? What's up? What's um, up what's so, up? yeah, if you click on the three little dots down here. And then you go to settings. What you can do is um, turn off the 3D objects, turn off the enhanced graphics. And that just puts a little less stress on your system, which will help this whole oh, process it's, it's, go a lot smoother. Yeah. Turn off. What did you want to turn off? Sorry, Doug. The yeah. um, in fact, turn off the show ownership celebrations. Yeah. Turn off show 3D objects yeah. and enhanced graphics. Turn all oh, of them off. Right. Go. Now, sometimes what nice. you can do is to turn off show other block explorers as well, because then you won't have all these other characters kind of getting yeah. rendered in. But in this situation, we want to be looking at yeah. the people because we, we want to be looking at the properties they float past because when it's go time, you need yeah. to jump on it. Now, this seems to be the only player that's up in this neighborhood whatsoever. So the neighbourhood that we're looking at, Derb, is this one's Queens Park. Queens Park and, and Harrow one's Road. Releasing is Harrow Road. Yeah. Right, These okay. two are releasing, hopefully in ten minutes, assuming I've got my maths right. Yo, 420 Spitfire. Hello, How you hello, doing? Hello. Now uh, I can't so, yeah. see any. I can't see anyone in those areas at the moment on my screen. No. So sometimes it changes with how zoomed in you are. Sometimes you zoom out a little bit or zoom in a little yeah. bit and show other people. But maybe there's just no one else that happens to be floating past. Now, this is what can kind of make or break a stress test like this. Yeah. You know, like they've chosen neighborhoods that are miles away from the, the train station. So it's it like look, we've but... got to hope that enough people have floated up in the right direction. Otherwise, we're all just going to be sat here for hours. But to be fair, to, I, be there. to be fair, I can see on your screen in Queen's Park someone up there. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. yeah, now that one's not showing on my for some reason. Even when Change your zoom, zoom, dude. Just what yeah, bit by bit, wiggle your zoom in a little bit, in a bit, in a bit, out of it, and at some point it will show up. I am. Um, doing so that. there's a couple of other things that are happening today, but let's, let's try and quickly, quickly get through. Um, we've got lots of landmarks. We don't need to worry about them yet. That's more for tomorrow. So I'll just go through these bullet points for you guys quick. So the launch. Oh, we got Birmingham launching as well. I forgot. We've only talked yes. about London. Birmingham's launching as well. The Brummies. Here we go. Up in Brummie. Brummie land. I, I used none to of these releasing there. today. Okay. Yeah. These neighborhoods will be releasing tomorrow when the main release drops. So they're not part of the stress test. But I thought I'd show you them just, just so you can see. So I, I, I used to live not far from there. Let me tell you, I moved out of Birmingham to move down south. And there's no way I'm moving back up there. Let me tell no, you that. Not in this life, not in the metaverse. Up, north, isn't it? <laughs> So tomorrow, both of these cities will launch and all those remaining in the neighborhoods will all go live tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, the terminal sale, we won't worry about that. It's the train terminals because that's already happened. This is today, the London stress test. So hopefully if my maths and time zones are correct, this is in about eight minutes. Although we might be wrong and it might be in like an hour and eight minutes. We'll see. Uh, we've done free airfare until tomorrow. 7 a.m. PT. So if you're not already got yourself to London, get on the train or get on the plane now, and you are going to have to go to an international terminal for that. Okay. 
Um, these are the other neighborhoods that are launching, but we've already seen them. Um, so this is some important stuff. So London is what we call a tier one city, which basically means it's the like proper fancy pants city. So there's an allocation of FSA properties of only 10%. Now an FSA property is called the Fair Start something initiative, but that's not an eye. Fair Start Alliance or something, I don't know. Basically, there's lots of properties that are earmarked for just new players because there's like different ranks you can get in this game as, as you progress through it. And just so that all the newbies don't get shut out the game by all the whales of all the money, there'll be a lot of properties that have um, an FSA on it. Now, I don't... No, can we see FSA properties yet? Hold on. I think we can. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, so these ones here have FSA written in them. Only like a new bees playing will be able to buy that one. And it will be a lot cheaper. So it's good. So it means new players can get into the game and not be swamped by all the whales buying everything up. So it gives you a bit of a chance, which is cool. Um, but only 10% of the properties in London are FSA. Whereas Birmingham is a 70% because it's a, a tier 3 2 three. Um, so that means if you're a newer player you've got a much better chance of getting some stuff over in Birmingham so if you're in London jump on a train zip up to Birmingham get ready for there tomorrow okay I, I'd and say Birmingham head on over to the, jewel, to the jewelry quarter I, I would it sounds like it's going to be a good bet that one doesn't it just yeah, the name I'll, of it if anything to be fair everywhere else is just like guns Not crime it, yeah. gangsters <laughs> so just a few more things on what's happening today so at five past obviously the stress test goes live in about five minutes hopefully five minutes after that some treasures will begin to appear on minted properties throughout the neighborhoods so this would be like a little treasure chest or like a present little icon above a property you send to the property and then click on the present and it will give you some upx probably um now it says here most treasures will grant enough apex rewards to cover your send fees so most treasures are going to give you between 50 150 maybe 200 apex but there are going to be some good ones that will have 10k in so nice. that's a good one at half past they're going to spawn the last wave of treasures and then the stress test officially ends at 945. now at some point throughout this they're going to drop sends as well sends okay. a little paper airplanes on the map you can only hold hold 11 cents at a time so once you've sent to a few properties you're going to use your up. So you've then got to find a paper airplane to land on um and they're also doing some like spark giveaway for people that have like earned entries into the stress test giveaway which is you got free properties you meant will get your points free treasures you can claim will get your points and then five cents if you do any more than that it won't count um Brilliant. Yeah, but I've got a quick question for you. Yeah. Fact. Yes, hit me up. I can only see yep. my Glock Explorer. I've tried refreshing. I've tried putting on and off those settings that you told me to do, but I'm just only seeing mine. Is there can you a not any, see any down in like this main area here? Uh, no, just my own. Literally, just my own Glock Explorer. Oh, okay. And I'm zooming in and out. I've done all the zooming. I've chat. Oh, Ooh. I wouldn't worry, dude. Like, Don't worry about it, no. No, like at, at the moment, it looks like that one person that was in the area. It's left. It's just left it, but they will have a tail. So yeah. I guess I could explain that, couldn't I? So you see, coming out the end of my character, got this nice yeah. long tail, we call it. It's slowly fading out. Now, any properties that are within like a little bubble area of that tail, you can mint. But obviously, I'm not in the right area for it, so nothing's there. But this person here will have a bit of a tail coming around here somewhere so we've still got some hope guys okay get to the top <laughs> left of queen's park that's where you need to be bubble looks things because i can't see any other block explorers anywhere up this part of town and i've literally just got my own block explorer so yeah well good thing is dude you can see on my screen so you're going to see the general area we're going to need to yeah. Um, I've, got, I've, got I've still to... not seen <laughs> and oh no here we go the london stress test starts soon yeah i think i've got my maths right we're good yeah, we're yeah. good Whew. i was gonna say we normally get a, a, an upland ping on the discord saying in five minutes it's starting soon i, I hadn't seen it but it's because i'm on the right page and it didn't give me an alert so i think right now dude the trick is to just hover in this very top left area 
I'm just so, going to... Uh, I've got two there. minutes. A good little tactic that I do, because sometimes... I mean, if the clock hits time and you're like, come on, come on, why haven't they gone blue yet? Why haven't they gone blue yet? And I just kind of zip in and out just one notch with the zoom when it's pretty much time for things to go. And that, I don't know why, a lot of people do that. Why, why are you guys still putting exclamation mark plays in oh, chat? No. I'm sorry, but we're not doing that. We're playing Upland. I love your enthusiasm. Much love to you all. But I tell you what we can do, Dub. We'll probably yep. end up doing it on Saturday, so we've got TSS tokens to give out. Yes, we do. Yeah, we'll... we can talk about that at the end, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. 420 Spitfire. Um, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Because um, even though these are all NFTs, you can see them on the EOS chain. If you go on like, the EOS version of Blocks, you can see it all on there. But I don't know if there's actually like a wallet as such. You can see, you know, they're not like... You know, it's, it's not like your Metaforce NFTs or your Faded Mon Super NFTs where you've got them all there in, in Atomic Hub or something. I mean, you got the details here on how many properties you own and how much they're, they're, they're yeah, worth all in, and stuff. It's all in game, um, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a bit weird like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think eventually they are getting there. I mean, there's things called what legit... What block is it on, Doug? It's, 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 it's on EOS. EOS. Oh yeah, well, there you go. Else. So there's no, there's no actual. Is it somewhere where you can view EOS NFTs? There probably is some sort of marketplace. Right. Sorry, sorry, dude, but but yeah. it's nearly time. It's nearly time. You've got to pay attention. Where's this dude gone? He's over here. Oh, well, I'm watching sorry. your map because I can't see. Um. So yeah, I, I can't give you full answer that one, 420. I'm afraid. Um, because Upland was one of the very first like web free blockchainy games they're a little bit backwards on some things but they're getting better because you can now get like ornaments for your properties they do nfl legits and they are all like legit nfts that you can see somewhere you see them in your upland things somewhere yeah. in there yeah. i'm not gonna look yeah, now, yeah, yeah. So I've, gonna got some, I've, got, I've got some i've got some uh, legits all right all right so it should be time now so i'm just doing my little wiggle wiggle and hoping that this person has got a tail somewhere. And I'm having a look just to check that there's not someone else sneaky, sneaky minting somewhere. Whereabouts is he, Deb? Let me have a look on your map. Oh, Give me there a... He's just come back in. He's just come back in. Give me Ilbert the name street, of the street, everyone. What street's he on? Ilbert. I L B E R T. He's not minted anything yet. See, this is the problem. This, this person might not even be online, you know? It could just be their block explorer just randomly wandering about. <sighs> Bum. I don't need to start getting minted yet. Oh, it's gone live. They've all gone dark grey. Maybe that's what he was waiting for. Are they a little bit behind? Yeah, they're all dark grey now. Come on, sucker. Mint, 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 mint. So I wonder so, how so many as people as, are currently as, as, soon as, he, as soon as he mints, Dub, yeah, we yep. can send our block explorer to the we one that he's minted. We can send our block to the one that he minted, and then oh. everything around our block explorer will be bright green, and you'll right, just so be like, oh, 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 quickly trying to buy one. I recommend you try and get yeah. one of the smaller ones. Yeah, just you just want a base, don't this. you, for somewhere to set, yeah. so you've got somewhere you can send your block explorer to. This is, this the is next it. So, oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, up here. So the idea is you just want to get yourself one or two in these neighborhoods for when the other bits of the city release, you've got like a, a stepping stone to, to send from, you know? Yeah. Come so on, I'm going. sending my block as well to, to, to where you are, Dub, yeah? Let's get one of these. Oh, 15K. These are, oh, all right, blocked. Try another one. Block, try another one. So this is a problem. Everyone's now bum rushing this whole area. Oh, is, it the, is, it, is it the green Come ones on. I'm trying to buy up? Dude, yeah, yeah, the bright green ones, dude. Yeah, there we go. 105 Lothrop Street. I got one. Oh, it's just, person... it's just locked up, Dub. Yeah, well, this so... is a stress test for you. Certainly, <laughs> just locked up. Yeah, that's a stress test for you, buddy. Shall I see if I'm, I see if I'm fine if there's a couple of slightly cheaper oh, ones? Man, 14. Just, uh... Let's get another one. Just so I've got two. Alright. 
So we don't know, you see, whether any of these properties are going to be like collection properties. You know, we don't know if these neighborhoods are going to be a proper good collection one or not. So you don't want to go too not spending all yeah. your OPEX here. Yeah, because 21,000 is like, oof. Yeah, so because it's a tier one city, everything is a lot more expensive. So you yeah, definitely I mean, want to be a bit more, oh God, 22, no. I mean, I've just bought one for 18,000, uh, you know. 19, oh, this neighborhood's a little bit more expensive, isn't it? Right, that's gone. 17. All right, is there any smaller ones? That one's gonna go. Oh, blimey. They're all getting swamped up going aren't they? Well this could be a good area. Let's see we get into this one quick. Uhubu. Yo what's up Sagani? Hope you're having a good day. And also hope I didn't butcher your name. We're just manically trying to get a couple of props on the stress <laughs> test here in Upland. How much to be fair I'm just buying random properties and I think I'm not. Yeah don't go too nuts dude. No. You, want, you want to be saving your, your money for the, the big one. Oh, well, I've got some sense here. Oh, I'm not available. Remember, in a couple of minutes, they're going to start dropping the send treasures. Fuck it, I'm going to get one from this other, other neighborhood. Because in the past, normally, the neighborhoods that open up in a stress test don't end up turning into collection neighborhoods. However, recently, a lot of them have. Well, not a lot of them, but some of them have. So the sends are dropping now. So that means it won't be long until we're going to start dropping random treasures on top of the properties. Now, I believe they're only jumping on ones, uh, properties that have already been minted. What does that mean? So what are you saying about that, Dub? Sorry, the properties... So they're going to be dropping some treasures now, which yeah. are like little presents or treasure chests that will be hovering above a property, a bit like the little paper airplanes do. Yeah. Now they're only gonna be uh, drop land on properties that have been minted. So, you know, if they're up for grabs, the property's up for grabs, they won't have treasures on. Well, there's already people trying to sell. I'm just trying to chase a couple of sends right now. Yeah, that's all I'm doing, Dub, to be fair. I keep bloody disappearing. Everyone's. Oh no, yeah, everyone's going for the sentence. Oh, I've got a treasure. Oh, I've got a treasure. I found a treasure. Oh no, it's already been claimed by another player. You cheeky game. <laughs> it told me I had a treasure and then said it has already been claimed. Oh god. God, these sends are going so quick. I oh, know, yeah, it's going crazy, isn't it, Dub? But this is kind of the idea, you know, you've got lots of people minting, you've got lots of people sending, so like right, loads right, of stress is getting on their servers. Oh, come available. on, some of these. Out of range. Let me have a... No! Oh, all the sends are disappearing. I'm spending sends to I, get I, sends I, I, and they're all... That... Oh, that one's gone. Oh, my days. This is turning into pretty crazy. Oh, I think you just have to wait. So another sneaky tactic you can do right now with peeps is to go onto your property. Where are we? De -de 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 -de. Um, click on, was it the dots? Yeah, click on the dots, set your visitor fee, crank it up. There you go, do. Because everyone's going to be sending all over the place right now and they're not going to be paying attention. Uh... Securing our, uh, securing I'm not spending ownership. any more sends to get sends because they're just disappearing before I've had a chance to get them. There we go. Got a cheeky two there. So, have we got anybody watching that plays Upland? Any of you guys Uplanders? Or are you just tuning in randomly? Dub, how do I set that fee again? Can you show me that one more time? Yep. So, click on one of your properties. You'll know it's yours because it'll be dark blue. Yeah. And then there'll be three little dots on the top right here. Click on that and then set your visitor UPX. Got it. Yeah, and then just crank it up. 
And then just to be well, nice, you probably want to crank it back down at the end of a day or tomorrow or something. What have you um, cranked it up to, Dub? What's the good? I went up to 120. I don't know if it goes much further than okay, that. Okay, yeah. Oh, Set God, fee for right. all properties. Why not? <laughs> yep, do it for now. Because like I say, there's going to be lots of people sending all over the place. No one's going to care what the sends cost. Yeah. They're just going to be doing it. Got here. Sod it. Let's see if I can get a couple of these. So you're going in then, Dub, aren't you? You're really going in on this. Uh... Oh, I'm not buying anymore. I'm just sending them out getting the planes. I'm all okay. full now. I'm kind of like hoping I'm going to see some of these treasures, but I'm not sure whether you actually see it above the property or whether you just have to randomly luck upon them. I wonder what people are selling stuff for. Let's have a little look. Ooh. Cheapest is going for 18,500 upx. Which isn't that. Of course, price in here, Dub. Mm. Yeah, God, that's not much of a markup there. Yeah, see, now this isn't the area that I really want to be in. So what I'm what I'm doing, but like you said, it's handy to have a property here, just yeah, ready so that from. I can, yeah, I can jump from here. Has everything be... been taken now? I imagine everything's been minted now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what's cool is yeah. right. So come tomorrow when yeah. all the rest of these neighbourhoods unlock. Yeah. Rather than just because. You know, these are the opening neighbourhoods and they're miles away from the train station, wherever that yes. is. Because So you can just send back to the train station to put you in central London. Yeah. Because then you're in this area here. You That's know, what I'm going to do, And then hope yeah. that you float in the right direction. You can yeah. send back to the train station and go in a direction you like, but it's going to cost sends. Yeah. Um, so it is it is quite handy having your own property because you send to your own property. It doesn't cost anything. Right. I can't, yeah, I so that. like this one here, if I click to send on it, there's no like charge, it's just confirm. Whereas if yeah. you go to send to another property, yeah, I'll say here it's going to cost you 50 apex to send to there, you see. Yeah, so it and does. it actually costs a send as well. So, like, yeah, in fact, I've got 11 there. If I sent to my property, not only will it not cost me anything to send, oh. but I won't have used one of those 11 sends. Can, can you show me where it says how many sends you've got, though? Yeah, so just click on your block explorer, block explorer yeah. and then click on the little plane icon and then it'll say here. Do you know what, Dub? I was looking for that yesterday. Oh <laughs> my days, I was looking what? for that yesterday and it was doing me. I, I was like, where is it? Where can I say how many cents I've got? So basically, these, the area that's mapped out in black, yeah, is what's going to go live over the course of how many days, would you say, Dub? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, the all rest of area. all these areas. Right, yeah. So what? So what else? Like in the days after, they're going to like say where London Zoo is, for example, and Camden. When will that get released? Is that in the days after that? It after won't some... be days. It'll probably be in like a week or two's time or something. I think they normally okay. leave it a, a good couple of weeks. But yeah, oh. obviously this isn't the whole of London. More of yeah. this area will be yeah. like added slowly. So but tomorrow's going to be the same bit... with Birmingham as well. Like so yeah. tomorrow. Birmingham launches as well. It'll yeah. be just these three neighbourhoods. Yeah. Then in the next like UK city release, like maybe they'll do some of these ones around here. Maybe you know, it might not even be ones right next to them. They might do some neighbourhoods that are a little bit further away. Yeah. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason to how they do it. Yeah. Look at so what I've done. All over the place. What I've done is I've uh, I've written down a, a few postcodes of some stuff that I'm after. And it's scattered all over London, so but I've got a little plan. I don't really want to make it public as well, such in case. No, I wouldn't make I wouldn't put your plan out there, dude. But, <laughs> no. I say, but the, a good option is to send to the train terminal or you yeah. know, send send to one of these terminals. You have yeah. to keep an eye on the UPX because some of them might be yeah. charging a lot more than others. They're probably all just charging maximum today, to be honest. Yeah. There you go, that one's fifty. So you can save yourself some apics if you want. Now, when you centre here, your block explorer will start going off in the direction. And you've kind of just got to hope you're going off in the direction you want to go in. If not, send back to the train terminal and rinse and repeat. But every time you send to the train terminal, you're using a send up. So, like, yeah. don't waste too many because you can't, like, infinitely collect them. You know? 
So if there's certain areas you want to get to, what you might have to do is do what we've done today. Say you want somewhere in cheap. You might just have to wait until someone else just happens to float through cheap and mint a property. And as you can see, we can't even see the properties yet. Right, that's what I wanted okay. to know as well. Can we so, see the actual properties? At some point no. tomorrow, you will. Oh, it's no, you can. You can see on the street view. Yeah, but not on the actual zooming in view. So you can't see how. Oh, no, I'm on about an hour. Or... I'm on about yeah, yeah. where we are now. Yeah, where we no, are. No, no, so. in all these other ones. So, at some yeah, point yeah. tomorrow, yeah. all of those properties will, will be outlined. There won't be prices on them yet, but they'll be outlined so you'll at least be able to see how big the properties are or how small or or whatever. But some of these are some pretty like nice areas of London already, you know. There's yeah. some pretty spanking places. I mean, we've got ten down in the street here. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Whitehall, Horse Guys Parade, this this is gonna be big stuff. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. that's actually one of the um one of the landmarks, isn't it? I think Trafalgar Square is as well. Yeah, yeah, gonna so be this is stuff. quite you know even just this one neighborhood look at all the stuff that's in here that's that's mental like big important places all right and then that's not even going into proper like this is a proper city city london this is where all the banks are and all the yeah 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 Bar groups. the barnacan yeah yeah that's where yeah yeah so like, it's, to be it's fair, gonna this be is a bit quite, of a mental one tomorrow this is quite residential where we are at the moment isn't it yeah it's not really you, so. well we're in queen's park so you've got quick QPR Stadium, is that anywhere around by there, maybe? St. Jude's uh, Hall? I don't know, it could be. I don't, but, know, I don't do football, dude, so yeah. no idea. And I don't support QPR oh, anyway, they're shit size, so why would I want to buy at their stadium, do you know what I mean? I've seen them play. <laughs> I have, yeah. I've seen them play once, yeah. Yeah, That's there's longer. nothing really in this area, to be fair. It's a stress. I bought a couple of properties because I want to, uh, like you said, you've given me a bit of a, a nice tip there. You can send. I'll have access it's now. To it's Wimbledon. also always worth getting at least one or two because yeah. if this neighbor, if one of these neighborhoods does turn into a collection neighborhood, all the properties will be worth a lot more. Right. So you know you'll be able to flip your flip your property yeah. much more. Let's see what the um, prices are doing already. Because yeah, a little bit of time's gone. There you go. Floor's going little... up a little bit. Floor's creeping up to 19.9. Oh, that's the floor of the cheapest property. Yep. Yep. Ah. So if, if you zoom right out hmm. and do the little building, it will tell you the cheapest property in the whole of the city. Yeah. But obviously right now, we've only got two neighbourhoods open, so you don't yeah. need to zoom right out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you click the little house, it will always sort by price cheapest first, so you can see where the floor is right now. So, for example, you know, like my properties, well, I think I bought mine for, what, 16 or 18 or something? Yeah, yeah. 16, 6, so I could yeah. effectively sell that right now and make 4K, you know? Yeah. In fact... Surely, isn't um, that what we shouldn't be, we should have been doing that, surely? Just 14, oh, there you go, I'm going to do that one. I bought yeah. that one for 14. I'm going to do it. Let's put it up. Um, 19. Pick-off offers see what happens but I'm not going to get rid of the other one in that neighborhood just in case it turns into a collection neighborhood and like I say we don't know what the next neighborhoods to get released are you know we don't know whether we're going to release them down here whether we're going to release them yeah. here here whether we're going to go across the river and they're going to release them over here Clapham and Brixton um, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing Brixton might have some cheaper stuff in maybe yeah 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 I've got my eye on a couple of places Camden, Brixton. Batsy Park. I think Batsy Power Station might be a good one. Yeah. There's Probably some good buildings. That, there's some there. real good buildings that I've, I, I want to snag. Dub, yeah. I'd love to get the O2 Academy. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I've been to so yeah. many gigs there, man. Brixton yeah, yeah. Academy. Yeah, Brixton Academy, yeah. Oh, and then yeah, you've got some in Lewisham as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lewisham might be a bit too far out. Yeah, yeah. That might be a bit be too far on the outskirts. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting. Hand in time. Yeah, tomorrow all this is going to launch. Um, and, and to be honest, that stress test wasn't that bad. It went a little bit glitchy yeah. at times. Yeah. But that was actually pretty good, which is a great sign for tomorrow. Because obviously yeah. that was everyone crammed into two neighbourhoods. Whereas yeah. tomorrow it's going to be everyone across, I don't know, it looks like there's about 30. Yeah. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5, 5, 5, 6, yeah, it's about 30. It's about 30 neighbourhoods. 
In fact, I think they're calling them boroughs because in London they're boroughs. Yeah. Which is why we've got so many here. Um, it's a bit weird, but there we go. We like to do things different in this country, don't we? Of course, so many sends out here, Dub. Yeah, yeah, it's because the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those, those treasures are spawning. There's still a lot of properties up for grabs then, Dub, in this little area. Is there? What? That have been unminted? Yeah. Where? Oh, no, it's... Oh, I don't yeah. think so, dude. They're all, they're all gone, mate. They're all going to be gone. They, they would have all gone ages ago. Oh, what, this so is the thing about the stress test, because everyone's in such a confined area. Like right, when that so one person mints a property, there's, there could be like 20, 30, 50 people all sending that same property and trying to buy the same like six so that Doug, are around can you. Just, just talk me through the colours again. So dark green is what? Properties for sale. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's still properties for sale. Yeah, yeah, but they're not unminted properties. They're properties that people have bought and they've put them on the market for sale. Right, got you. Right, so we're, 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 when a city launches all the properties are unminted yeah right which is when you which is buy one which you're is minting different... it yeah and then you can sell it once you've minted it right which is a different color green isn't it it's a, it, like an illuminous no no green. the bright greens are properties that you can buy if you're near them that are unminted yeah. so there won't be any of them now they're they're all gone all the properties have been minted and you see right. the dark blue ones are the ones you own Light blue are ones other people own. Dark blue are ones you own. Dark green is people selling on the market. Right, and then the light, the light green is the unminted, yeah. Yes, yes, but obviously there's not any of them anymore. They're all gone. Yeah, I think they need to change that. There's like light green and dark green because it can be confusing for new players. You know, those ones that last face. No, fair enough. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Like anything, isn't it, dude? Yeah. You just got to get used you've got, to it. You've got to get used, got to, get used to, it, yeah. to new systems. Yeah, yeah that's it. Um, has someone undercut me? My property's not sold yet. I might have done. It's probably just delaying. So how many properties have you bought then, Dub, in this I area? I just bought three. Yeah, I bought same. two in Queen's same. Park and I've got one in Harrow Road and I've put yeah. one on Queen's Park up for sale. So I've just got one on each. So I've got a little jumping ground in both of his neighbourhoods. Yeah. Just in case someone I want is around here on another release. Yeah. And some... if one of these neighbourhoods gets turned into a collection, I've at least got one for the collection. I can maybe make a bit more money from it. Yeah, I'm, I'm mean, not going to go what, too nuts what, and speculate. One of the properties I bought, yeah. yeah. Let's get your screen up, brother. Where, where have you bought? Let's yeah, have a look. Some... I'm on it. There we go. Oh, did you just get a treasure? Do you just actually get one? I don't know. I just saw that come up, yeah. yeah so both ones is... I've found, it says you found a treasure. Oh, it's been stolen by someone else. So this is one of my property stub. Oh, I'm going to have to maximise this so I can see it better. There we go. Oh, you, you love your street viewing, don't you? It's like something's gone on down there. Look, they've blanked that out. A bit of ruckus has gone on mm. that, down the street there. <laughs> and, so I'm going to uh... do the street view thing. Where are there? There's one here. No, yes, it's just. A I've not even had a look at ass. it. Yeah, I've not even had a look at it, Dub. To be fair, let's have a look. Yeah, nothing yep. special. A house in London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to a million pound house. That house there, look, million pound. <laughs> that room up there. <laughs> yeah, probably not far off, to be honest, dude. That little room up there, a mill. <laughs> London is stupid expensive. Welcome to London. <laughs> cool right, beans. Well, so yeah, guys, there we go. Best stress test done. I think that went pretty well. Me and Buddha both managed to get ourselves a couple of props. Three Nothing exactly. went too horrendously wrong. Yeah. Um, two properties I've got. Sorry, not three. Oh, I've just in your comment there, Spitfire. Sorry, doing a bit slow. So on that one. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same. So I'm not like a big, big upland player. I've just been playing it for two or more years. So. I know a bit, but I'm definitely not like an expert or anything at this. Um, so how they used to release a city was, you used to know which of these neighborhoods were going to be a collection neighborhood. So you knew like, I want to go for like some rare collections or something. So you're going to aim for those ones specifically. And obviously everyone will be doing the same thing. It'd all be going to the collection neighborhoods. Now I want to go to the non-collection neighborhoods. All the collections to sell out really quick and then it was just scraps for everyone else. Whereas now we do what's called a vanilla release. 
where they release a load of neighborhoods and they don't tell you which ones are going to be a collection neighborhood. So you've got to do loads of really good research on when these cities release to try yeah, and find yeah. what you think are going to be the good neighborhoods that are going to be collections or the good streets. Because sometimes a collection is like a really long street rather than a neighborhood um, or landmarks. And I'm just not good at this shit. Like every time any of those American cities have released on vanilla, I've done some research. I've gone in and bought properties that I thought were in a good one. And it's never worked out. Yeah, me. yeah, like, but Dub, we're no. in the yeah, but Dub, we're in the UK now. We know the area. I know, I, mean? I know. But we, we, the internet we, is also a thing, so you can still do research on these cities. But yeah, still, but you can like, do, yeah, 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 you can do you, research. You miss out on local knowledge by doing yeah, that. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, that's that, that's the thing. You know, we, we, there's places where I've got a list in front of me, right, and I'm not going to say where they are. And these are like they're good places you know and and i don't think that anyone from america would would have ever heard of any of these places but then you know i'm doing it i'm doing it for my own personal preference as well you know i'm not buying properties that i think are like just famous landmarks and i'm buying properties that mean something to me you know like if we if if we go back up to the midlands i'll probably buy the place i used to live at yeah see stuff like that's cool do you know what I mean? I'll buy my house down here oh, when that opens up as well. I think the property sold. It's sold. It's just not updated yet, so I only own two now. I made a little bit of our picks. Nice. Oh, there you go, nice. I made four grand. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, nice. Um, so yeah, talking about the nostalgia thing. Yeah. Where was the city where I bought my name? Was it Vegas? No. So my surname is Bullock, and one of the cities released with a street called Bullock Street. Oh, it might be this one. Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. So I bought like a little block of properties on Bullock Street for no yeah. other reason other than yeah. it's yeah, my yeah, fucking yeah. name. Like yeah, yeah, I'm never, yeah, yeah. never going to be able to sell these things. Like they're not in a collection neighbourhood. I didn't yeah. even get the whole sod in the street. Where's this numpty here that's bought one? Mm. And this one here, but still an FSA up for grabs. So if anyone wants to help me out, yeah. 17713 Bullock Street. If you're an uplander and you can buy FSA properties, buy, buy that. that for us and I'll buy it off you. Yeah. There we go. It's newbies, isn't no. it, that can, that can only buy an FSA? Oh, I've got an offer in for that one. Let's, yeah, let's up bought, my offer on that. We bought a couple of properties, Bex. We bought two. Two each. Let's Dubs sold one at offer the him 16k. That's more than what it's worth, but... I want to try and complete my street. Yeah. I want to complete Bullock Street. Obviously, the street is like a really bloody long street. You know, I'm not trying to own the whole fucking street. So but, you, had um, a you had a treasure thing just pop up then as well. Yeah, then. but every time I find one, dude, it tells me straight away that, dang, someone else has collected that treasure. So I'm, I'm not even bothering getting excited about it anymore. I'm just letting my dude yeah. float about and if I get some. 300k, yeah, whatever, mate. You're not even in that city, Bex. I know where you are. You are. You're in Brooklyn, I think, or um, you Staten Island. I think Bex is over in Staten Island somewhere. Oh really? I think that's last place where he was buying stuff. That was over here somewhere. Yeah, that Staten Island is that right? I think it's right. I don't know. That's where he was. But yeah, I've got these little blue properties all over the place. Chicago oh, was my worst, man. I went bonkers in Chicago. Did bit of research, bought loads of properties, thinking some of these have got to be collection areas. Surely I bought so many in so many areas, and literally yeah. every property I bought, every neighborhood I bought property in was not a collection one, and every one I didn't buy a property in was. It's like I split Chicago in half, and yeah, I got yeah. all the bad luck. It's like, how can uh, I have that much freaking bad luck? And that's the thing about a vanilla auction, isn't it? You just don't know what collection these properties are going to be in until that gets released and how, yeah. how how quick how soon after you bought the properties is the day announced that the a collection a week or so maybe a week or I think so it'll probably after. be a week or so i wonder if it says what does it say stress test stress test uh time or so <laughs> 300k it's yours we'll see much Oh, there no, you go. Look, but Bex can still buy FSA, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know that she's got to travel like halfway across. Ah, do it, Bex. Go on. Help the bat. Help the bat. 
Plexes in Staten Island on what where was it? Was it Los Angeles? I was just oh I can't be asked to go back there again. Wherever it was. Los Angeles, Las Vegas, it was one of them. It was one of them lost places. I'm in LA. Yeah, if I'll you can't buy on. FSA. I need an FSA no. buyer. No. no. Yeah. I've headed I've headed back to central London anyway, because I'm uh I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day, I think. Yeah. Yep, tomorrow's going to be a bit of a mental one, I think, because, yeah, there's going to be lots of speculation. But a lot of Apex is going to be spent. Because this is a tier one city, a lot of the properties are going to be expensive. So, like, don't just go clicking on stuff and buying it. Check the price of stuff before you're buying it, peeps, because yeah. it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Tier one cities are expensive. And like I said, if you're a new player and you can only buy FSA, shoot on up to Birmingham. 70% of Birmingham is FSA you'll be able to clean up over there and it's weird right because the map has just turned round right for me right? what is going on a uh, few oh, weeks time bad. few months time all of this will be open eventually but they'll probably do one or maybe two expansions on London and Birmingham and then they'll zip back to another country do some there because the last last international one we had was here down here in south america and it was really weird because you had these few little neighborhoods here and then all the rest are up up here rio de janeiro see mm. i bought a few about here yeah 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 oh you bought some in rio did you yeah and this is one of the ones where when rio first released it was like just a little sliver down here and then like all these opened and then all these opened like yeah bit by bit they, they, they drip feed the releases now how many properties have you got Doug? um i don't know off the top of my head but um and what's your what's your yield there you go, 188 properties and what's your yield uh, um, no idea it doesn't tell you like how much upx well, you does it gain. tell you your net worth it tells my net worth yeah but not like how much I'm earning. So you like your you? net worth, which for me is 3.4 million Upex. Yeah. This is how much Upex you have in your bank balance, as yeah. well as the total value of all the properties you own. Right. So obviously I've got 700K in the bank, Yeah. but then I've got the value of all my properties added to it. And right. I've got like a long way till I can rank up again, go from director to executive. I've got a long way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're getting there. All right, I think that's a good time to wrap it up, I, to be honest, dude. Yes, We've yes, kind yes, of yes. blabbed on about, about as much as we can blab on. Yeah, yeah, um, right. We'll Tomorrow's both be buying properties tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I don't think we'll... Should we do another stream tomorrow? We might do another stream tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might just stream it in Discord or something. So if anyone yeah. wants to come along for the ride, you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we'll back to our usual shows on Saturday. Yeah, usual show Saturday. We've got the uh, TSS tag that we're going to give out on our stream. Yep. We'll go. I'll go through that with you, Dub. Yeah. So all, all you guys that have come from Left House, we got we got TSS tokens. We got loads of them. Um, Buddha yeah. was actually the majority owner of the TS tokens. We got a one whole of the, heap one of the majority. Me yeah. and you now, Dub. Me and you. It's split between me. Yeah. And well, you. I only am because you gave them to me, dude. So <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So between us, we've got a lot of TS tokens. So we'll be yeah. starting to hand them out soon and, and get the ball rolling with that, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, come jump in the Discord if you're not done so already. Hold on, yeah. let me get you a link. So we've got our own Discord, so we can chat to our community without having to pollute Left House's channel too much. There we go. Come jump in, say hello. We're a friendly bunch, a bit weird, but friendly. And yeah, that's about it. Brilliant. Nice one, Doug, for taking us through it, talking us through, uh, you know, especially yeah, me, no because I've not, I've not played a lot of it, do you know what I mean? So I've learned so much off you in the past couple of days. Yeah, just, really we had a good chat the other day, didn't we? Yeah, good yeah, good yeah. half hour or so. I gave you like yeah. a you know, noob's guide to Upland. Um, yeah. Likewise, it's anyone else that's watching, you've got any questions, anything you want to yeah. ask, pop in our Discord. It's nice and quiet. Like, you can yeah. most definitely go to the Upland Discord. You're probably going to get better, more thorough answers. Yeah. But it is also an absolute, like, cheap market there. There's just, like, so many people. Chat yeah. flies at right knots. If you want somewhere a bit more chilled and quiet, you can ask some questions, jump in yes. our place and, and ask away, and we'll do what we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Awesome. And when we snag up these properties, we'll come back on stream and we'll let you know what we've got hold of. Because I'm sure once we get the properties that we're after, we'll want to show them off if we can get them. If we get them, I, th I, yeah. I think you know, you've got a little, like, you must have some property stuff that you're looking to get hold of, yeah? Not yet, to be honest. I'm no. going to be cramming tomorrow and doing doing all my research before the thing goes live. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got yeah. an idea, but. Yeah, because my, my all no. the some of the properties that I'm after aren't even in this area. That's the, the that's yeah. Uh, so it might gap. be best for you, dude, to either wait or yeah. you know, say you know that you're gonna probably want some properties in this area. You might be best to try and get one in this neighbourhood, so you've got a good yes. jumping point. Or yes. likewise, if you're yeah. interested in Shepherd's Bush or Kensington, you might want yeah. to get a prop in one of these, so you've got a jumping point for that way. Or yeah, yeah. same Camden, you know, like I yeah. might be lucky. Yeah, we've got a nice move. Yeah, we've yeah. got a nice intro in, in into Camden, haven't we? But yeah. also, your block explorer doesn't just go in a straight line constantly. They can no. decide to stop, turn around, and fuck off in a totally different direction. So you can have all the prior planning in the world done, and the game can but, absolutely screw you. Um, but ultimately, so have a plan, as... have a backup plan, because yeah, your plan ultimate... will, probably won't go to plan. But ultimately, as soon as you're, as soon as someone has bought up a property in that area, so say I'm, say I'm Central London, someone's yep. bought a property in Camden, I can send, I can send my block explorer over to that property, can't I? Yeah. Obviously not now. Camden's not out, but yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah, we'll so Camden's open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it won't be as mental because there's going to be people trying to get properties yeah. in all these neighbourhoods. So it's yeah, not going to yeah. be everyone just descending upon one. Yeah, I, li um, I like how they've done it. I like the, they've opened up but that you can little bet area. St. James's here is going to be mental just because of how much like important mm. shit to London is in this neighbourhood. So that is going to be mental. It's going to be yeah. I mean, you've got there, you've got you've got a lot. You've got a lot here, haven't you, Doug? Yeah, Buckingham yeah. I mean, even, even if you just go in this little triangle, Big yeah. Ben Palace, of Westminster, yeah. yeah, Buckingham yeah, yeah, Palace, and James Palace yeah. National Gallery. But Even they're going to be a little triangle. But right. they're going to be pricey, Dub. You, you say. Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not all of these will be actual properties you can buy. Some, uh, I, in fact, I think most of the landmarks won't be live when the drop goes tomorrow. Right. The, the landmarks will drop at a later point, I think. But right. again, you know, if you're interested in getting ten down in the street, yeah. buying a property around it is going to give you an amazing chance to be real close when it does drop. You know. Right. Um, I got you. And yeah, there's going to be people going for bits in here, so yeah, it'll be less of a clusterfuck tomorrow, but still a bit yeah. mental. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can't believe it. Cheers for joining us, dude. I'm really sorry we're kind of wrapping things up now, bro. Yeah, I can't believe how quick those properties all sold for, Doug. That was crazy. Every time, dude. It that goes was just like, like they that. just went like that. We could have just flipped. I should have just gone yeah. on a rampage and bought those and just flipped them straight away. <laughs> yeah, just possibly. Some, some people did a good little tactic, but. Yeah, get, there you get go. I've done. learnt a lot. I've learnt a lot, Doug. Go. And I've got my upland buddy now. Well, I've, I've helped one person, so there we go. That's better than nothing. <laughs> we're, there, we're there ready to help you lot as well. If there's anyone that needs help, we'll, we'll do our we best. We do our best, man. We do our best. Nice one, Doug. All right, let's sign off, buddy. Yeah, Take it easy, everyone. I hope you see some of you on our Discord and catch some of you on Saturday as well. Peace out, y'all. Up the walls! <laughs>